There we go. Uh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Lillian tonight, along with... Yes, uh, Mighty Lieutenant Rukil at your service. As well as... Hi. Um... <laughs> okay, and welcome back to L.A. Noir for the eighth time, I believe. And I'm trying something different with the recording this time, as people who, well... <laughs> If anyone ever even saw this stream from the very start, might have noticed. Um, yeah, I'm trying out games. Yeah, I'm trying out uh, streaming games through screen. No, not screen. Display capture. Uh, while using a program called Borderless Gaming, which forces games in, or we can be used to force games into well borderless modes, and also into a specific uh, position on the monitor. Like at the moment. The, uh, <clears throat> at the moment, the game is actually forced down. Uh, why can't I touch the upper part there? Okay. At the moment, the game is forced uh, to be uh, three pixels from the top of the screen and 320 from the sides, putting it in, well, the middle of the screen and just three pixels from the top. So I can still see the top above it, because some for some reason when I have a game that just touches the top of the screen, it just makes me think that I'm missing something up top there. And yeah, then I just put in a display capture and cropped it to only capture this area. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. For one, it would I wouldn't need to keep changing things around to uh, different sources every time. I would have to change I would have to change the position in the borderless gaming thing for each of them, but that would be a one-time thing. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh dear. 
let's resume. Last time we got to, well, we finished the, uh, we got to the vice desk and we finished the first case. And now we're on the second DLC case, second and last one, I believe. Yeah, there's Reefer another one Mountains. Naked City. And then there's another one for Arson. Okay. You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution they ring. I have to say how much it's going to cost. If all like Roy does. And the department will front me the 50. <laughs> like, you can like, put in an expense claim. Nice sippo. He's but I also probably broke it. I got to get a new one. See what you can find out. Okay, we'll see if this actually leads to more or less frame loss. Like, typically I don't have much frame loss on games anyways. But, yeah, this should ensure that, or hopefully ensure that more of the game is caught. Do they think I'm made of money? Yes. No, you just look like you're made of money. <laughs> oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. I don't care. What? No, he only has his own voice in there, which is his ego talking to him, and probably the only voice he has ever. I can tell you're lying. <sighs> Meanwhile, I have a rotating voice gallery that pretend that plays my thoughts. You know the way. You can drive. In a different voice. <laughs> And last time we also found out that I or last time or the, the time before we found out that apparently I'm now the voice uh, in Pizza's head. Flower <laughs> arrives every week. I figure. In my case, it changes yeah. between me. Uh, sometimes it's Steve Blum. Sometimes it's uh, Ross Scott. It changes. Also, I found mods that can make that can put in uh, female stalkers in the stalker game. Okay. At least for the mod Gamma and I think Shadow of Chernobyl, or was it Call of Trip yet? Either one. There's a little snake. That's him in the back, Cole. So, you know, okay. I got the to do. Thank you. Megan, you the one? Or no, Halloween. Yo. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? It's stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Be careful. In case anybody want to know, race get my money? Blur Do me a favor, or Freddy. Latino. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this cruise character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Oh, was it? No, no, no. Latino. Latino person. Do you recommend this? Yeah, I'm still concerned. Okay, but yeah. Hmm. I. I... I for sure want to stream Call of Pripyat eventually. And I've never you been died. able to finish the original the Stalker. Alright, where to? But, yeah, we I'd could take a look at uh, the Gala mod for that. Uh, one thing I'd recommend if you just decide to go with vanilla, find a mod that changes the damage values because the damage values on Stalker are fucked. Like, for some undetermined <laughs> reason that I can only assume is related to the code uh everyone's guns do the same damage which means that if you play on easy everyone soaks up bullets more than you could think more than a guy in a full suit of armor like that a guy actually on explains a, leather, a lot yeah. like a guy on a bat leather jacket can soak up enough rounds can soak up more rounds can soak up as many rounds as a guy in full suit of fucking exosuit armor <laughs> That explains quite a lot from when I played it. It probably doesn't help that the Makarov is also a shitty pistol. Uh, I believe a story. Sure. 
hop head like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. Uh, you apparently really want to Rory. in the middle of a crossing. Yeah, apparently Rory's an even worse driver than Rusty. At least Rusty okay. bothers me. Ooh. Juan Garcia Cruz's house. Dip, dip. That's a lot of soup. Yeah. Guess he's getting ready for the apocalypse. And, well, you know, gun too. Call for help. I was like, does that realize uh, Roy has the exact same handgun Phelps does, which is another indicator of his money, because, like, Phelps, at least you could argue, he brought it from his time of his service. Roy probably bought it in from the GPL. Roy probably just bought it. Just like that guy? <laughs> yeah, like that guy. <laughs> Okay, he got the bullets free though. True. Now, who did we just do? Move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Just imagine you're like, I don't know. You're at your home. It's the weekend. You're taking the night. You're taking the day off, having a drink or something. And then all of a sudden, a gunfight ensues. What happened? Uh, <laughs> much fucking soup. You open fire and, uh, wow, that's a lot of story soup. Yeah, himself. no. What? The fuck? I'm guessing he made a- I'm guessing he made a wrong trip to the soup store. Yeah, I was about to say, he must be the supplier for the soup store. Okay, but I- I think we can all guess what's actually up with the soup. What's in the soup. Yeah. Which section of the soup store says to close? <laughs> None. Oh, yes, I went there. Okay, someone just all set right, off a firework. It's is that yeah more out of habits. Let's see uh, anything to find uh, beyond all the blood. Let's ask. Can I ask who think that the gunman here was extremely stupid? Yeah. I thought they took these things out of circulation. What's with the mass uh, over it? Did they try to use this in some one of those coin press things or something? Like it. I'm guessing it's worthless since it got taken out of circulation. It might be worth right. more. I don't know. Yeah. Anything on the other side? A wallet. So we at least know we got the guy. Yep. Juan Garcia. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address. Okay, seriously, like we have Hispanic, but no, if you're black, you're girl. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, it, these ID cards were horrible. Yeah, I I, I, I completely missed that last time as well. I was looking at the name while you people, while you two were reacting to, well, the race on the bloody cards. Yeah, I, I refuse to say them out loud because I knew it's a red flag. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to have to bonk you on the edits again, Rom. <laughs> I don't worry about it. It's. Where did they get a Thompson from? Also, no one's. Day, I was about to say, nobody's going to comment. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Hmm. Is is tomato soup a meme from this era? Maybe? It's like, I know there is or, that game, or those games called 60 Seconds and 60 yeah, Parsecs. <laughs> That's the one! Those are the two games I was thinking about for... There was so much to make this... In there. It was from this era as well. And then again, it was... Those games were from more from the... Uh, cold... Uh, actually, this is the Cold War time. Uh, probably a little... Sometimes few more... Prior but yeah, I think the, the thing was that people, the quote-unquote joke or thing was that people were advised to store a ton of foods. And well, tomato soup is easy to store, stays for freaking ever. Okay. 
Also, stock document closing no noise. Uh, hello. Oh, Spanish English. A few boxes of ammo from the looks of it. Yep, another firework. Okay, and not even the sparkly kinds, just the loud ones. Yeah, that, that happened uh, yesterday, uh, actually, uh, over at my end before stream. Someone found it near the house, not too close to the up, but not for me to go, what the heck? These are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Mm. Okay, I'm guessing... I'm going to take a guess that the soup mostly is legit, but they use the cans to put uh, the dope in it and ship it that way. Or they hide it with the soup. Mm. Okay. Revolver from the one we shot and the spare one. Also, nice job getting your fingerprints all over that, Phelps. Yep. Uh, it was, I'm pretty sure it was connected to the case, or rather specifically to the guy you shot. <laughs> when are we here? This isn't what we're looking for. The heck is this? Pencils? Okay. The heck was he doing with pencils over here? Note? Writing? No. Chewing on the end of it. I know some people have that as a nervous habit. I think I used to, but I grew out of it very quickly. Because I grew to like the pen. Hello. <laughs> but I, not a, I drew a lot. I did not want to bite all of my pens. Village in Borneo. Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Yeah. Let's see. Also, I'm pretty sure anyone who, hmm, yeah, anyone who would have walked past this place would have noticed all the fucking boxes of soup and probably also figured I'm not going to get in freaking involved. Detectives, you'll want to come meet Mr. Fickman, the neighbor. Sounds like he's got something for you. No. Now, let me see. Camera? No, wait, that is spelled. Detectives Phelps and Durrell. We were told Always you. knew they were up to no good. Son of a bitch spent more time in the chicken coop than in his house. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's very helpful. And next time you witness suspect behavior through the crack in your curtains, please call us before something like this happens. Wait, that's it? Apparently. Okay. Did we find everything here? Let's have a little look with the intuition. Oh. Four. Okay, at the back of the building or something? Uh, yeah, in the back. Wait. Oh. The Chicken poop. Okay, I thought he meant the fucking... I think he meant the prison. <laughs> that he well, would I spend mean, more time in the prison. I was thinking... Uh, do I have a chicken coop? Well, to be fair, the guy could have been a prison. Yeah, prison just has so many freaking ways of being called back in the day. Nowadays as well. Slammer. Joints. Circumstantial. The big house. Hmm. That's just, uh, a, <laughs> that's um, just a PNG of bolts. <laughs> or not nuts. Not PNG. Yeah, the wrong kind of nuts to feed chickens. You don't feed those nuts to them. What are the robot chickens? Mm. Oh wait, there's a shop called that. Huh. <laughs> Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> we didn't even do anything. You're the one that jumped, jackass. Also, also, who makes a can Jack in the Box? Someone who wants to prank someone without making it. Ooh. Too obvious. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? Those for the the soup enthusiasts. For the apocalypse. Ooh. Hello, no why do you company. have a why do you have a delivery ledger for this? With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Hey look, D Juan to the deliveries. To what? Uh Guadalajaro? Guadalajaro? Is that's about right? 
Guadalajara. Okay. But yeah, these are sound all very South American. Yeah, to be it's... more specific, all of these are from Mexico. At least I think most of them, anyway. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. That is most central. Seems pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait Virginia and see how wait. this plays out. Instructions. Mm. Okay, now time to check the soup can. Yeah, every bleeding one of them. Arnold soup. Wait. Mm. What if they are I'm mixing the soap. drugs with the soup? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, like I thought. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory seal. Remember, Someone when, at the cannery has a lot when of canned food used to cost used to cost 12 oh. cents. Yeah. And what did you just realize something back here? Factory sealed. The, yep. This goes deep if they have someone inside the actual factory to do yeah. this. Like they, they don't buy soup to eat it up, then fill it with uh, drugs. They they have it filled and delivered to them already done. Yeah, it's literally an inside job. Inside yeah, the factory this... and inside the cans. You can drive. Do we know where yeah, the they... market or the Parnell Soup Company? I think we should it's go to the from... market first and then the company and then the soup market. Might as well. Mm. Oh. First we check the other places, then we check the source. Look, they different from idiots trying to hide stuff into soup cans to actually idiots to know how to do it properly. Still turning up. It makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff landed yep. shifted. Roy. There's been no comeback from Cohen's hey. yet. If the confidential also, magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot tempered son of a bitch. Oh dear. Um, uh, so this is, if I remember right, this era was also known for having a lot of traffic accidents. Yeah, like like we've experienced more than plenty of times. These things are more supposed to go Let's straight take. in straight lines. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. <laughs> okay, they're coming in hot. chances oh fucking course get over here before I stick you in a soup can and okay maybe you should lay up a soup a bit you are really <laughs> easy to catch whatever you're carrying hand it over On your fucking I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. One second. Hmm? One second, mom. One second, my mom called. Be right yeah, back. Right. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Didn't we just tell him to... Whatever. Oh, hello. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. Okay. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Okay. Let's see. Sanchez, of course, it's a, he's a Sanchez. Sanchez. Mexican, 
Tijuana address. Okay. Uh, that's the expiration date in the upper right. Gender, weight, height. Uh, nope. I'm guessing the last two are colors. Okay. We're about 30. Okay. 37-ish. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Are you trying to rhyme? Okay. I'm back. Oop, yep. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, Look let's at the face see. That guy's doing. <laughs> let's like, see. Got him in the middle of speaking. Oh dear. Also, mm -hmm. I noticed something weird. The first coin had mon, and the other coin had key. Like, are they? They must be accidental if they accidentally did a Final Fantasy X2 reference. Okay. Given the, yeah, yeah there's no, a, a, no, that's not a reference. That's part of a clue that we have to collect by way of getting the coins. I will give you all the yeah. help I can. Let me have a little Please, look. There's a uh, early on in story there, but you need to figure out the password and as per two possible passes, mon and key, monkey. See, and that's what I'm thinking about here. By Juan. Okay. That's Give ask. me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. So what it'll be? Good cop, bad cop? I am doubtful. I'm doubtful, but you're also fucking lying to us. But I don't think we have the evidence, so I'm doubtful. Now, according to this, we should have the Tell info. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The fact that you carry an identifier. You have a silver dollar, Erto, oh. just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Okay, a bit of a sequence break there because we didn't know of an Ernesto before. Tell me about the soup, kid. Right. The soup is very popular, as you can see. My uh, doubt. Loud or loud. I was giving him the truth, but then he's this smog is looking away. Doubt. From? Doubt. The real funny wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Okay, there was another it's possible the... question there, but we didn't have any anything on that. All right, so to the soup factory. Yep. <laughs> Did I just sequence break everything by saying go to the market? Because we're supposed to be able to visit the... Fa oh, fuck it. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think you shortcut the entire case. Freddy said they were case. moving 50 pounds a week. <laughs> That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grass. So what? Do we reset? Local weed gets Cause we kind of just skipped a good way, third of it. Through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Hey, I was thinking I was being smart by going to the guys. The fucking market, but nope. Turns out I just skipped a good first. third of it. Now, let's get him. 
Okay, just the entire printing department. Son of a bitch! call that as a signal? Clever. You might want to get something from the trunk. Yeah. There's gonna be a bunch of assholes. Okay. All right, move. Yep. Move! Use? Let's go! I guess we can't end. No, click, oh, we click. Can't. There we go. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Better than a shotgun. Uh oh. Everyone into position. Okay, we'll take this one then. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover us. Okay. I guess let Roy kick the door in. Or, or I'm guessing we're going upstairs. Okay. Got your back. Hello, it's a and I'm Put doing fine. Throw out the guns. Ah, no, Phelps, get in there. Oops. And there's a dead top. There. Okay, there's two up top. I'm going to go around and get this guy. Uh, never mind. Can we even. Nope. Okay, two more. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got him in the hand there. Okay. Last one. I think that's the last of them, Cole. Like, are you doing well, Pizza? Did I ask after just earlier? <laughs> I was kind of busy not getting shot up. They ask us, and I told you I'm feeling fine. You have it also to him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, doing, I'm doing pretty well. Detectives. Found something here you probably want to see. Okay, took a good long pause. Yes, just more cans okay. of soup, or... Let's see, are you Ernesto? Yep. Well, oh, that... Tijuana address. We should see what the Federales have on him. See if Grant... Okay, don't think that's anything. Oh, hello. What do you know? A coin. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Well, that to the mm. red. Okay. Anything Let's else of interest? Sham. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Yeah. Okay, we've got the gap, yeah, definitely. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Wait, did the idiot come back? Wasn't that the one we just given, paid off? Given that he learned that we just saw a car drive in out of nowhere into an area that's been raided by the LAPD. Yeah, he's an idiot. Oh dear. Or he's one of the guys we wasted. Oh, hello. Where'd you get this from? Ooh, that's a wad. Must be a thousand dollars here. Wait. If, how did you get that if you were one? Okay. And another coin. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl. Like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. They give the damn Ray, roll back. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. 
And of course there. he bolts. Take a yep. look at these coins you've been Fuck collecting. You. Yeah. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. Oh, mass was not Those born. Those are Morgan's My silver bad. dollars from the twenties. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Okay. No need to shut here. Just gonna be lurking. I'm okay, I'm tired mentally and physically, okay, so okay, just okay, want okay, something to talk. I got an idea. Talk. I got an idea. I got no, no, no. Okay, put that. Okay, metals. Mesenge metals. That one. The first coin, M A S. The second, A N G. The third, K A Y. The fourth, M E T. The fifth, A L S. Mesenge metals. From the notes. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever? 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. If you want to bet they won't, they just won't. We'll uh, leave late. them again. Right, I'm going to try to re finish reading the chat here. Just going to be lurking. I'm tired, mentally, and physically, so we just want somebody to talk to. So either you talk and you're falling asleep listening to the stream. I don't know how I'm, how I'm doing. I feel tired and sad, I guess. Oh. Okay, sorry to hear that, Pizza. And, well, yes. you're free, of course, to just listen along or, and chat a bit if you want. Yeah, sorry to hear that. And Yeah, I hope we, we are able to help somewhat. And yeah, this you're just seems like we didn't... Fine. We Where didn't we shortcut through this. But let's see here, at least. At the absolute least, we can say that the metal uh, that they got the coins from here. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence. Uh, he's totally pocketing all of that. Yeah. I hope our next uh, assistant is better. We need another way in. Place looks abandoned. Okay. Oh, let's go take a look then. I see a ladder there. Is there another one around here somewhere that we can get up? Or do we need to go around? Hmm. For some reason, I'm reminded of what I... I believe there is a GTA-like game set in this same era, but I can't think of the name. Maybe one of the Mafia games? Possibly. Okay. I'm surprised that I wasn't remember... the sound of his yeah, clothes getting torn there. I remember people really overhyping the Mafia games. Hmm. Okay. We ended up not liking them at all. I even mean, tried to watch them and just gave up quickly. But it was not my camera game. And the way people talked about it just made me very uninterested. Wait, come up here again. Hey, we have weapons on the ground now. Unsurprisingly, they're trying to shoot us. Okay. okay, good thing for them is that they have a lot of metal to actually take cover behind. Okay, reload. Oh, apparently it's already Are... loaded fully. Well, I didn't even help reload, so... You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Smart ass. Find some cover. Okay, he just took a full face of shotgun, I think. I 
Actually, I'll take that. Or I'll just take this one instead. It's not drum magazine, but okay. Nope. One second. Alright. Yep, that's Roy. As much as I'd like to kill him. Oh, and finally he loses his hat. Can I actually pick it up? No. <laughs> okay. We're going to give the coroner quite a busy day. Hands up. Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Right, a fucking lawyer. I think. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one, personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Should have just put a bullet in him. Yeah, they're letting him go. Ugh. M missed one clue? Let's see. What's wrong with hmm? oh, Wait, I say that. That's <laughs> it's uh, already been 40 minutes. Uh, we've, we've dodged a lot of questions. There were two other people to possibly interrogate in this, but uh, yeah, we've skipped that. <laughs> and why did... Okay, really? Three dollars of vehicle damage? I'm guessing that was from driving up to the raids? Let's wait, see. Wait, wait, wait. He accidentally drew into someone, Roy. I don't think it counts when the partner drives. Okay. Even without Victor really Sanders, not. the Pernell soup uh, pot boss is guaranteed to go down in LAPD history. Hmm. All right, next up. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Uh. <clears throat> Bad idiots <clears throat> throwing people you, into the blind meat grinder. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live. I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Asakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight!
Yeah, the, the Imperial Japanese, uh, yeah, they did not keep the honor when it came to the Americans and such. They shot medics whenever they could. I think it was many who, from many sides, that they did that uh, to begin with. And it was actually a problem. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Mix your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey is about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the yes. result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Uh, again, I don't like this era. Someone's displeased. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find what's out what's up? going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. On. That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you're out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Yes. Nope. Nope. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Guessing both. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. <sighs> well, at least we basically got one jackass at basically confessing. Oh, hello. All right, what's it, Roy? There's a phone number we can run by R&I. That's a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Uh, hello. It's normal tape. Is there anything special about this? He's not saying it's irrelevant. And I'm guessing it's irrelevant. Okay. No floor. Hey, Ed, which case is this one? The Boxer. setup, I believe. Wait, 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 wait. Uh oh. Seems irrelevant. Oh no! Someone threw the glove to the floor. Did someone issue a challenge? In the locker room. Yeah. There should be a. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, the black. Yeah. <laughs> the Arian is Trontaine. Working selflessly to help the infirm, promises to light yep. the path for those lost in darkness, traumatized veterans flock to participate in care program. Yep, this is the newspaper. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. <laughs> I took some of the guys in my old unit into doing something. 
and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that, Barry. Now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your proof? I got food. We're making shawarma. You're a magician. Okay. Also, yeah, he's bullshitting everything. We, we can all pretty much tell, right? Yeah. Yeah, and what's with that bone leg? And what? Never mind. Yes, it... Whatever. This is the only newspaper in this section, so moving on. Is it? You know they had a fossil on his uh, desk. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Be right back. Yeah. All okay. right. You both uh... eat the swarma, and I never eaten swarma. I think. <laughs> I I think the the proper way to say it in English is shawarma, like in uh, Dutch it's shwarma. called shawarma, yeah. with uh, an O and no W. It's kind of funny. The like, first time I into uh, that dish was to a tall volume manga. <laughs> I think most people have heard, first came to know about you it. You find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh... Met his brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, yeah, we shared some ice, as in I we iced him. Pretty scared back there. Okay, we need a phone to call all of this in. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... That's a phone number. Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thank you. You know the place? Flop House. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Okay, I'm guessing Roy already called everything in. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I think where people, most people these days, 
learned about shawarma was probably from the avengers movie in the after in in the after credit scene where they're just hanging out in this having a swarmer sandwich which one of the movies yeah the first one well yeah it, it's right. good just get it in pita breads, uh, with garlic Isn't sauce. Have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I know the hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with a turf. You should try Whoop. out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that. But he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Uh, Roy is so corrupt, he probably has one of the Chaos Gods taking a peek at him every so often. Which one is the question? Okay. I was caught off guard when my dad shouted. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Nice thing about ego. Okay. Talk about and yeah, he is right there. Let's see. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Okay, the heck he's, does he mean with that? That's the cop who caught her. Uh, Winston Churchill. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other important known names here? Let's see. Shirley Temple, Harpo Marx. Can we check further? No. Uh, let's see. Did that clue have anything about names on it? Let's see. Harry, Marv, Mervyn, Roy. Ray. No, you did the same mistake. Winston Churchill, a very patriotic Englishman, is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Okay, I was mostly going there just for the joke of it, but... Okay. Watch us kick down the door of the wrong person. Oh, dead ahead. It'd be really funny if we just... If in one case we broke into a guy's... Into a guy's house Looks and like just... he's had a up here. And it turns out to not even be the the suspect's house. It's just some dude watching TV. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, probably a more common occurrence than you Instinct. think. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. <laughs> Pernell soup. soup. Of course. Let's see. Win the house of your dreams. Modern living with a touch of natural style. Oh, hello. Candy Edwards. Edwards. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Praising Roy, praising. It's Roy. It's Roy. Roy. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Okay. Movie tickets. Or at least part of one. It... Oh, I don't Does like the fly sounds. Okay. Personally, I don't like luxury chocolates. Just give me chocolate and leave Let's it at that. Home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Okay. I will not buy it for myself, but if someone offers me 
So with one box, I'll be taking those the ones I do like, but I'll be likely not to buy an entire box. Yeah. Hell. But it's one of those uh, mouth pieces. I don't think this is any use to us. Okay, mouth I yeah, mouth guards I think those are called. Basically yeah. to prevent your teeth from actually getting punched out. Yeah. Another note. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Okay. Let's see. 18, 22, 19. Let's see, 18, yeah, 18, 22, 19. He, he was playing, he was playing the bookies. Or did he, did he bet against himself? If he bet against himself, he would have folded. Yeah, but on previous matches. Okay, lipstick on the cigarettes. Okay, anything else? Uh, wrong button. Let's see. Oop. What I miss? Oh! Another window exit. Must have just missed him. Okay, I completely missed that, yeah. <laughs> He's a dodgy bastard. Been chased by the LAPD and. Probably the mob for not holding the fight. Yeah. Okay. What is this other I'm thing having... here? My thing is on the table. There. It's still warm. Yeah. Okay. Is th is that Pernell's? No. No. That looks to be different. <laughs> okay. Where they still have those in circulation. Somebody get tell us what the hell is going on. Imagine Wait, you, you just like buy soup for your for like your family. You open one of the cans and it's full of marijuana. It's like the hey, fuck. Don't mind me. Okay. Yeah. I'm guessing they only sold it at specific That's points so with code cool. words and such. You know the way. You can drive. Yeah. Uh, All right. Where to? Why is this I'm, still here? I'm kind of glad they did not hide uh, hide the drugs in the actual soup. It would probably make for an interesting meal, to say the least. Uh, uh, okay, we can still look at this. Uh, Humf Humphrey Bogart, really? Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> okay, we can still... Name, you might as well. Yeah. This place isn't scratched off yet, but the no new, yeah, no know new, rev, uh, no new clues remain. It looks like so. I guess we'll be hey, coming back here at some let point. Let me check something before we leave. Yep, too late. So, you doomed us all, you two. You all Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh wait. Oh no, this is where she is. For a moment, I thought we appeared at this a different hotel. We need to know which room is Candy's. Hey, there's such a thing okay. as soap. You know. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment seven. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy. Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't They're like the great. look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. See him? This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Yeah, she, she knows where she is because she had to look it up it for up the up. others. Like hitting women. This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Oh, that's bad for him. Getting <laughs> caught red handed doing that. Yeah. And beaten up. Okay. How cold. 
but breathing. Give her a minute. Take a look around. Okay, for the first time, I think we're investigating someone who isn't dead like this. Okay. I told you to empty out your pockets, but I'm doing it for you. Of course. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. <sighs> we probably should not put that back in his pockets. Ooh. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Okay. Why are some of them with X's and one of them with check marks? These shake them down or something. Hmm. Okay. Iscania sails from New York. And this looks like a ticket. Single ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. All right. Oop. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Shut up, Roy. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. Okay. Oh. Let me first check something. Uh... Mm hmm yes. Okay, we have the evidence we need. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Out! I think they are lying, even. Oh, come on! Lying. Uh. Lying. <laughs> Yeah, Miss Candy is going to be pretty bitter after this one. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Actually, we can. You would literally signed your name on it. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Why would you say that? Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Yes, he's looking pretty sour now. Yeah, and no... Never mind, not nervous, no. It's yes, a lie. Ma lie! They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? That's. Uh... Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. <laughs> You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. How that? I have very... No. You came Actually, from Ohio. we saw the ticket. Yeah, but we don't know where she's going with it. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against our Caro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Yes. 
luck in Denver. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. Okay. <laughs> Afternoon of the next day. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Yep. <laughs> there we go, Assassin's Creed of you, Phelps. Hey, that's a almost your typical uh, hide the skies uh, they did in this era. Yeah. Like there's First. an achievement for following Candy, but never going into incognito mode. Okay, for some reason the up, the axis or up and down was twisted, you know, or was reversed there for some reason. Yes, suddenly stopping is a good way to tell people behind you that you're going to look around. If you're going to do that, just do a quick spin. Yep. <laughs> okay. Can you just call me a maniac? Yep. Okay. Here we go again. Let's see. Remain hidden in plain sight by going incognito. So technically, she she should totally be spotting him. Then then again, she is base, she's power walking. She's focused on one thing and one thing only. Okay. Oh, nice taste Doritos. Wait, was Doritos even invented by this time? Probably not. Okay. Just gotta hop from cover to cover. Those were made in '64. Just in time. Yep. <laughs> okay, I think I know whoop. Where our next point is. Like, seriously, is there any bigger tell of I'm going to look around than just suddenly stopping? Let's see, look for newspapers, telephones, sue shine stands. Okay. Cover it to cover. That, th those kind of stands are extremely rare nowadays, aren't they? Yeah, I've never seen one in my life, I think. I heard there's this story in some countries, but... Yeah. Pardon? Yep. Like, I think you can see... Get that service, but not on the street. You you should go to well stores that actually sell shoes to begin with instead. I mean, it's... Lima does still have some shoe shiner. Who? I think if we stay far enough away, she's not going to turn around. Lima, Peru. I'm from. There's still people who, who you know, do the shoe shining stuff. Yeah. Lima is the capital, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. I thought you met a person or store brand at first. Okay. Oh, be dumb. Okay, yeah, this is probably a much better and safer distance to go at it, because she hasn't stopped to turn around once. 
after the last bit. What the heck is it? I know way too little about Peru. I know less about Peru, Peru cities, but don't know more about what creatures had lived in Peru, though. Like the new giant whale discovered there. Maybe. Okay, you need to be careful here because there's not much places to hide behind. Okay, for a moment I thought she was starting to run. Okay, she's going to turn a corner somewhere around there. So we need to be close enough to not lose sight. Oop. Oh no. There's a stupid game I pray people don't see them do here in Sweden. Is when we see a yellow car, you punch someone. Really? Yeah, yeah. it's dumb. I don't think that the car was a uh, post car. Okay. Game on, got unselected, but the usual suspect of that with Task Manager wasn't on. Yeah, we have having less and less of that, haven't we? Yeah, I think it really was Task Manager doing that. Okay. Good trick to go down a long alleyway with little cover. Because if you turn around then... Then anyone following won't have much to hide behind. You see, just forgot to turn around part. you zoom tight okay read about the terrible blonde woman just came in here that's the cop she went out the back way said she was being watched how much does she collect thirty six hundred dollars she claimed me out on the Hammond kid Galahad fight you got it I'm not complaining we all made a lot of money on that one huge plunge on Galahad and then Hammond knocks the bum out so she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Okay, she slipped away. What are you okay. doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. Oop, Avenue. Yeah, this trick is... <laughs> it used to be not that well known, but nowadays I'm pretty sure everyone knows this. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's is handy. But it's not perfect for there has been moments where it did not help at all. Okay, Hollywood. I remember the big Lebowski did a joke about this. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. The joke being, the dude said this um, porn magnet house, and he's like. And the porn guy is like on the phone and doing and apparently writing something on. You're behind the wheel. Uh, Fine. Where are we headed? On a piece yeah, of paper, but... and then takes it away. So the dude decides to grab the grab the pencil, and he starts doing the same thing Phelps does. Do you want to know what was on the paper? A Probably. I'm guessing. <laughs> A stick ahead. figure with a big dick. <laughs> Horse. <laughs> yeah, if, if you know the trick and you know that someone else knows the trick, you can fuck with them. To win. Yeah. <laughs> so, but they also think it depends on how hard your press can and 
the thickness of the paper. I'll be right back. Cheating him too. Okay. Okay, she's go she's going down she's going down along the uh, the list. That was the first one, she's heading for the second. Let's hope we don't need to chase her to the third. Oh dear. So what is it with book making a keep or book? What is it with bookies and just Detective sealing off the windows? LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervin. Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. Four thousand clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Would you recommend the special? Seven thousand oh. she has now. Oh, some will be smoking way too much. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Yellow cap. We need to get after her fast. I'm pretty sure we know where she is heading. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. He probably has more tar than oxygen in his lungs. Yeah, and for some reason when I hear people have that kind of voice, over the case notes. it makes Do me uneasy. Yep. Probably because you could just punch him in the uh, in the chest and he'd probably choke to death. Bookmaker in town, Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. Shut up, Roy. Yeah, we see. It also when people hear that tone from Odds Marie, it, it, it's, it's not pleasant to the ears. Yeah. Sorry, I finished uh, lunch and had to. What did I miss? Okay. Uh, uh, nothing much. We oh, just yeah. we, we just went we just went to the second bookmaker, which also That's got the cleaned out. Ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. And yeah, we're we're trailing Candy. You want to know something really funny? Mm -hmm. We do have bookmaker businesses here in Peru. We're move again, we can Cole. make bets on who wins. Don't lose that cab. A Hammond like is mostly over the just hill. It's a punching bag for the up and comers. She knows goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill, give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, boy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Hmm. Oh, I think Rizzo said he did boxing in he his spare time. He was doing it already. Mm. I vaguely remember his diet somehow also having a lot of alcohol. Like, <laughs> like there are yeah. two guys online who tried doing the Winston Churchill diet and nearly died. Sure and, well, they didn't man. die, but they really got sick from all the alcohol. Oh dear. Okay. And then he smoke about as well with big cigars. Yeah, he, he used to smoke a lot of cigars too. <laughs> Probably being way too freaking obvious with this, but oh well. Uh, I think I was going to say something, but I've forgotten. 
Mm. You were to say you were to give me a wrong three piece? No. All right, oh. betting things. Uh, hmm. I think there are some legal places for that over here. I'm not entirely sure. I think there are most uh, some legal places for that, like uh, betting on horses and all that. That's all I know. And betting on football. But also more uh, things you can go to your regular store to do it with. Yeah. So it's within a legal frame. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Shut up, Roy. <laughs> Says the one with the extravagant car. Get my shop next to my car. Roy, you're the one who decided to come in on the fucking. Pull over. On the 19th step. On the 47th version of a. of a. fucking. of a Ferrari. She's bailing That's town. Your standard issue car. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. There it is. Uh, where is what? Well, you can only dream. Is there a newspaper around here hidden or something? Or no, we've already found one. Okay, good thing she didn't look around there. Catching all those criminals. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Oh, wait. Again. Dead body. Okay. What the heck? And for once. For once, we almost had a case without any Call deaths. An <laughs> Try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I... <gasps> They're on the way. Too late. The patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Shot at you. Using as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it. I told you that cocksucker was a crook. You have nothing to prove. And let's be honest, she was going to bail on him. So even if he did, that still doesn't justify this, but could have been any fucking one who did this. Also, again, nice job with the fingerprints, Cole. Not that it was a thing back then. I do think many of them were supposed to wear gloves. Okay. 32 caliber. One shot fired. Okay. Wait, hold on. They, they have said they've done fingerprints in this game a few times. Uh, uh, yeah, good. <laughs> I think it doesn't quite oh. matter when the person you're taking it from is dead. Yeah. The Egyptian theater. And no, that, that was. This is this pistol she was shot with. That's the other half of the ticket. No, it looked like she got shot multiple times. So uh, what hmm. now? The theater again. Actually, I don't have much else to go on. Mm, yeah, there's Wait, literally on, nothing else we can look at here. The other? Nah, she's supposed to have bled out a lot more, given either that or some of it is water got diluted. It. Yeah, but it ran over to the other cabin. Uh, there's the cops, or the colleagues, bleh. Okay, what's with this theater, then? Was that, suppo was that supposed to be their meeting place or something? So, some of you was about, you about to say who was the one All shooting right. her. It did not sound like uh, Hammond. Yeah, she said something about car. I gotta suspect he's one of the mobsters. Probably. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. 
Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. Ugh. Not her fault if idiots gamble their money away. Like you, idiots. Like, if you're going to gamble, gamble with money you can you can lack. Just... This seems like a long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Uh, Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. All right, I was right. We knew who that is. Yeah, it was the Italian. It's always. Well, then again, you really don't want to piss off the mob. Your gripe was with me. I just remembered why they say Limey. He's British. Oh. Me or you, and and I intend to keep on living. You you have to explain that one to me, Rom. Limey. Is a, is a way to say that you were gonna basically an insult to no, someone, I to a British person. Just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a die. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlos. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did I just you realized how many shots that Carlos fire. I guess he's got to reload his revolver. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. And that's confession heard by two officers. Or maybe not. He was shouting it out loud. So are you too deaf? I think it's more they heard him, pulled out their guns, and are trying We've to not get Arcaro. seen. Put down your there, see? Okay. You're oh, come on. At some point, you gotta reload. You oh, that's one. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Actually, there's more June. Oh, damn it. It was. I said, I'm impressed you, you headshot him. Reinforcements are on the way. Yeah, it's through the freaking six. bars. Yep. Now with a Thompson. And there's one up there. Stay down. I will keep shooting your hand on. <laughs> Come out, come out. Oh, he's mo he's repositioning. And he's coming over here. Mm. Or he's not. Or he's coming downstairs. Or, or he fled. <laughs> if, if he fled, that's a new one. Yep. Yep, there he is. Try to kill Roy. No way, he's shooting at us. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so we could collect the hat? Yes, apparently we could. Also, Roy is left handed. I just noticed that. It's time to come out now, Hammond! Gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Discania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. He didn't commit any crimes. <laughs> Fuck to be you. fair, his literal only crime was not taking the dive. Phelps. 
Yeah, fuck you, Roy. Yeah, taking the dive would have been a crime because it was price fixing. No, not... no, what yeah. I mean is he didn't take the dive, but yeah. everyone's gonna kill him for it. The They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and a, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. I just realized he's wearing a fucking green suit like he's the Riddler. <laughs> oh, good God, stab you, rum! Or he could have sold us out there. Holy! Albert Hay. We've made more damage than that. Somehow, yeah. I'm, and yet somehow, in my second case in traffic, I still managed to do 2,000 worth of damage. <laughs> Ow! Did you run everything off the roads? No, but it turns out that in my case, my fucking car drives faster than it should be and has worse steering control. <laughs> or maybe I'm just a shit driver. Yeah, like I said, these three. things these things are designed mostly to go forwards. Turning is a, a <laughs> turning is almost a bug instead of a feature. Okay. Albert Hammond sails for England after inexplicably vanishing from police custody. Hmm. One eighty seven and fifty eight ten Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. The case after this one has the has the newspaper. Okay. I have suspicion that the getup of yours anyway. I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. Yeah, uh, between you and that, they'd find <laughs> you. They'd find you the ugly one, Roy. Uh. Oh, the gods! Try not be as loud as a siren, Earl. Yeah, I was just say, I feel no like uh, they both sound like Roy. Yeah. Put it this way. Nobody really likes Roy Earl, but everybody so likes this shit on him. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for, so what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Hey. There's another DLC. Are you going to tell me? The deal's being done right yeah, now. They, we'll change the, the face of DLC. LA this one doesn't have a new wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are created. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. Yeah, sad through it. A lot of people go unidentified. Don't have families. Or their families are somewhere else. Or they just straight up have no money. Who's that this time? Because I swear to God. Second floor. Apartment six. In the back. Thanks. Okay. 206. That's yep. very obvious. Bukowski, you made homicide. Bukowski, good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Come hey, Rusty. Home. Relax, Rusty. Twenty-six years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks. Carruthers so. likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, How did Ross Bucket? Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Okay. I suspect I'm going to have to use uh, 
this one. Uh, wait, why is it not? Act oh, right. That that filter is on. Is on the game capture. Okay, luckily she's covered up, so it looks like we're not going to need that. Phelps, Val, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. And yeah, it's quite a bit to notice already. Way. Yeah. Yeah. I think we can look at this first, Mal. This seems a bit more... Yep. Yep. Okay, for I'm once, a ring that stays here. Unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks okay. like a black sapphire. I'll be right back. Gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Right. The investigation. I no nope. no more. one's going to comment on the bite marks. Ah, there we go. Losing on the forearms and... These look like bite marks. Very good. Look at her. It's not like they're hard to miss. Yeah, that's a sign of struggle. That, well, it's something with the head. Oh! Yeah, neck is bruised pretty badly. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. Put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the serrets. It would make my theory. And morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought serrets and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Does it hurt? Any photo? It, doesn't she have a, oh. a bit of a caving of her skull? I. Oh, is that her hair? Like it's That's the illusion of it. That's, I think, her hair. Okay. Oh, can you two shut up in there? I don't know. Julie, she always had so much fire. So much drive. I'm sorry, I'm not being very clear. They're there. Okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on. So Roy, Roy, can't even, <laughs> Roy can't even fake being empathetic. Uh, yeah. Look at the rolling pin. Yeah, I think that's just a uh, flower. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Yeah, just flower. Uh, True. Uh. I think her arm went through the wall there for a second. Hello. This is all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. Oh, oh. Further investigates. Something on the back. Not this one. Okay. Maybe number two. Let's see, can't That's make out too many picture. letters of that. Oh, ah, there we have a name. It's place to start. Okay. Ask for Miss Randall. Julia. Okay. And just to make sure... There's probably going to be nothing. Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Yep. Well, best to make sure anyways. Let's see, anything else around here? Hmm. Pardon? Pardon? Let's see. Oh! Hat box. That little... Oh. boy. Just to play to get my hands on him. Looks like barbiturates. Hmm. 
a full love of. <laughs> Are you getting jump scared by a flashlight? No, more of. It annoys my eyes. What else is rattling around in this thing? <laughs> oh. Ah, hello. We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Okay. Sleeping pills and benzodrine. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to guess it's an upper instead of a downer. Because I think sleeping pills count as a downer. Since they will calm down and such. Yeah, Anything else? Yeah. Mixing those two different <laughs> medications are a bad idea. <laughs> what love of... <laughs> I, I don't know what it's already to play before, but my eyes are sensitive to camera flashes. Okay. Like, I'd be fine being people taking photos of me and such if it was put it down flash. But yeah, this is... I found something a bit funny about this, or rather... I not found, but learned it was wider than I thought. But yeah, this is a smoking jacket that people would wear over their clothes. So they wouldn't get smoke and ash onto their act in, onto their actually good clothes, and in some countries, uh, tuxedos and such with similarly styled smoking jackets, as they're called as well, uh, are called smokings, including in Dutch. Okay, did not know that. So if you ever see if you ever see a cartoon doing a joke where they sit where it says no smoking and they don't stop smoking but they take off the clothes that's that's the joke that they're making i actually never seen that one sorry okay there must have to be something here here a toothbrush uh, wait no hairbrush hairbrush <laughs> yeah. i've looked at the hairbrush and it does he does yeah, phelps doesn't respond to it why is there one in the hall here? There's nothing here. Yeah, I just wrongly identified it when I saw you pick it up. I accidentally called it a toothbrush. This doesn't pertain to the case. Yeah, that'd be a very big toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, it seriously, what is supposed mouth? to be here? <laughs> There's nothing here. So why is it saying that there is? Hmm. Pelican? Painting. Or something else. <laughs> Let me at them. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynolds says, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Let's see. Okay. Okay. The, okay. They know who she is, promise they don't know her family. I yeah. swear, that cameraman is that man. <laughs> okay, the maid and housekeeper. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? I swear no there's something about normal. these faces that Phelps just sort of draws them on. Doubt. I'm doubting this one. Yeah, doubt. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Ooh. Reynoldson? Julia was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't think and you don't think to take these if there's nothing on your mind. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. I've seen the pillbox. The things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always do clothes and jewelry. She'd live like a movie star. A princess. 
Does modeling really pay that well? Depends on who you ask, depends on how you look, and depends on whether or not you're willing to effectively destroy yourself to just look good. Yeah. Did Miss Randall have many hey, that's just me. Is it? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. They just lie. Oh, yeah, let me see. yeah, lie. Too much of a lie. Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. Actually, we can because it says it right here. Who owns the smoking jack? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find him? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. Okay. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. <laughs> what the? I have my doubts. Doubts. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. Okay, now seriously, what is there to find here? Are we just all walking right over it or something? Where is this a glitch? And let me see something. Uh, no, the next case is the uh, Naked City, so let me. Give me a second. Why is it called wrong to take the wrong to realize someone still forgot to, keep, to give us our fedoras? No. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder who. Could, it, could we at least have it by the time we reach Arson? <laughs> Hopefully. It's really the final desk. Yeah, do you uh, have anything okay, about what, what you, this? Okay. okay, hang on. How many? Check your clues. I need, I need to see something because we are in her apartment. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, morphine. Yep. Okay. Benzedrine, slipping pills, smoking jacket, modeling job, two suspects, black sapphire ring. The middle photo... Okay, you need to examine the middle frame, gives you the address, the ass, and brush yeah. it up. Already got um, that, but for some reason, okay. it, for some reason there is a clue marked here. But the only thing that's near here that's interactable is the hairbrush here. Um, there's a trash can next to the potted plant. There should be morphine there. You probably already saw that, though. Actually, no. I want to see what trash can. Why did you? Plants. Wait, wait! I'm gonna be out. I was sending the raccoons to find it. Want to get the raccoons hooked on morphine? <laughs> what? Uh, if there's someone oh. expert about trash, it's raccoons. They put the heck nicknamed trash Point. pandas for a reason. Okay. That's not a trash can underneath it, yeah, underneath the desk, that's just a... <clears throat> that's just a pull-out seat. I'm... I don't think there's any Roy. trash cans in here. Are you sure there's supposed to be one here? It's a... Okay. Along the left wall of the interior hallway, leading to the stairs. To the stairs. Oh wait. Stefan oh. Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? It's not in there, it's down you here somewhere. Has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm with Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. There we go. Yeah. Yet again. I'm pretty sure you should be able to zoom in, but 
there. Second, Ballard will be pleased. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. Okay, now we should be getting the black stuff by ring, the modeling job, the smoking jacket, the sleeping pills. Yeah, we have all of Did those. You, uh, the Benzedrine this prescription. Uh, let's see. We found a bit. We found it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Benzedrine prescription in the living room. Take photos. Smoking jacket. Yeah, I, I think we have everything. So time to go look elsewhere then. The So why did you okay, park so far away, boy? Can you drive to this one? Okay. Where are we going? Uh, the practice or the store? The store. The store. We need to go to the store. Okay. So we're not accidentally shortcutting through parts again. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna keep this. Um... We gotta keep the wiki on the side just to, like just in case we accidentally skip half the case. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover and Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist it? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. You so hubris takes one to no one. Partners. Would you pick Rusty or would you pick Ray? Would you pick Roy? Uh, Roy is at the bottom of every choice list. <laughs> like, he's no, not even on the list. He's on a different paper that's been crumpled up, shit on, and set on fire. You mean... What can I help you with he's today? the... French bag uh, for the doors? I hope I haven't yeah. done anything wrong. No, ma'am. <clears throat> making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. True? True, Not this looking is... Away. <laughs> Who wants them? If it's weird when they finally a true fool. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. So you were just plain ass jealous. Does she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather. <laughs> Roy just photobombing. These gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, a <laughs> wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. Okay. How did you hmm. meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. True. True? What the heck is going on? Henry is your beau. Tell us about him. 
Yes, he is. I mean, we had so many <laughs> cases where it was a doubt he and Julia have been or a lie that we're at least bound to find one where the higher percentage is at least true. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, Bo, Bo was a word back then as well. I, I think that's made a resurgence late, recently. It has. Or bay. A, a shorter word, version now. As in someone's bay, or B E A E, I believe it's called. It's just bay -E. it's just with the U cut off. Uh, let me see. Can I get the scran uh, transcript? Yeah. I did not know that. Okay, it is the other way around, but it's similar, unless that's a different language. Are Miss Randall and Mister Henderson engaged? Who's he? He doesn't seem to know. Truthful. So yeah, true. She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. Okay. <laughs> That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. Oh. oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. Nope. Try, Phelps tried to sneak one by her, but yeah, she was a brighter bulb than You're even he expected, it seems. All right, where to? Is it his ring? We've been, as I said, we've been doing this so many doubts and lies so many times, but the few times they ought to be truthful, we get skeptical of it. Yeah, you, you get jaded to people actually being truthful or expecting yeah. them to be truthful. You expect yeah, the we, lies. Nice move, not yeah, we allowed us to make some mistake that did make, make me feel bad. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. And ironically, the vice cops are full of vice themselves. Wait, what does vice mean actually? Uh, I don't. Hmm. I'm, I'm lacking the specific meaning, but it's basically similar to sin. Like the vice of, uh, yeah, performance enhancements or such. Though I think we'll have to call it here, or in a bit, since we have only like 25 seconds to go. Wait, are you telling me the vice presidents are sinners? Uh, not in that way. Uh, hmm. uh, let me actually yep. just look it up. It's a case where it's a diff it has different w meanings in different contexts. Uh, let's see, vice... Oh, all right. Meaning, stop that. To f there. Uh, yep. Yeah. Good as any points to close it off for now. Take a back, Rum. So there. Uh, let's see. Vice. Immoral or wicked behavior. Criminal activities and immoral. Okay, more definitions. Uh, weakness of character. Bad or neurotic behavior. Okay, where does. Uh, oh, you yeah. preposition? Oh, substitute for. Okay, that's a bit of a difference. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's quite so different in the translations. Yeah, then again, I think the term vice for, well, immoral stuff has fallen out of st uh, style mostly in more recent times. Hmm. But yeah, I, I would like to know how both, how the word got both of those different meanings. But yeah, for now, let's head on over here and let's go look for somewhere to raid. And right. let's see, we only lost 19 frames in rendering during all of that. Okay. Uh, that's good, I hope. Gonna... Yep. I think we're going to get a bet right now. You guys... Keep on. I just keeping on. Done eating two large shawarmas and fries. So I think I can go lay down for a bit. You it ate too really long. 
<laughs> okay, that's quite a lot. Though I'm guessing not as blood as I... For my... When we get swarmer here, it's typically a swarmer dish and typically enough to feed two people. I don't think you ate that much. I'm guessing you ate two uh, of the breads filled or something. Yeah, two of the breads filled large. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank and you for actually, being you here. Post a picture mm -hmm. of it on, on the uh, Negate channel. You guys okay. have a good night, everybody. Thank you for being Be here and Rome. see you next time. Yeah, nice. see you next time, Rom. Uh, have a pleasant nap. Yeah, okay. you guys have a good day too, and don't forget our fedoras, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a yeah. I'll make a note of it. Uh, where did I leave that? There, I left that. Okay. Later. I'm just going to scroll it. Let's see ya. There, fedoras. <laughs> okay, now let's change the screen share to Twitch and go look for someone to raid. We have a good amount of people online. We have Reef the Leaf with Mega Man Battle Network 2, Swall Bay with Factorio, Cordust is playing Devour. I've heard that, I believe. Is this this multiplayer thing or. Oh, yeah, this is a I multiplayer game. It. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I've seen a few people scream from this. <laughs> yeah, since you are actually playing against other uh, players as well. The what is all the freaking oil for with this? Anyways. Redacted Cat is playing Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Chubbers the Moon Seal is playing Resident Evil 4. Lazarus re-rated last time. Actually, I should also keep a list of the people re-rated recently. Uh, Jimmy McGinger is playing Alan Wake. Big V Streams is playing Saints Row the Third. Halloween is playing uh -oh. Lies of Pi. Roko is playing Among Us. Touch Scaly Tail is playing Party Animals, and last but not least, we have Little Karibo playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies again. Oh, oh, and Douglas Douglas, <laughs> Douglas Douglas McDog is also online with Super Animal Royale. Oh dear. It has been a while since we rated Redacted Cat. Okay. We rated them somewhat recently, I believe. But that was probably like a week or so ago as well, or a uh, week or two maybe. A few ago. Anyway, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Pizza. For, uh, yeah, thank you, Pizza. Uh, I see that I th yeah, Noon has been watching for a bit, but they've left. Thank you all the same. And thank you to the usual lurker of Sensai. And of course, thank you, Drakir, as always. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Yeah. And of course, thanks again to Rom. And yeah, uh, no, <laughs> no early stream today due to some, uh, or a bit of a last minute uh, family. Not sure what the specific group. We were, we were just going to visit something with the family, an old bunker. Uh, I'll post. I'll try posting a bit more about it on the Discord to explain, but it was pretty interesting. It was a World War II slash Cold War era bunker. <clears throat> All right. But, yeah. Uh, let's see. Next week, we'll be starting on Dawn of War II. And, yeah, probably finish up Dusk. Well, certainly not, not Dusk. Dust. Finish up Dust in the weekends. And, yeah... Continue with Dark Side Detective and likely start with the Count Lucanor. <clears throat> I think we were supposed to start it today, if not for the yeah. surprise trip. <laughs> but yeah, let's start the raids. Okay, no block. And well, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well and watch out for demonic seagulls. And Roy. That goes without saying. <laughs>